Remember, the best you has always been within, within. and you just bring it out. All. <laughs> well, being your best is all about putting the work into your inside so that you can let that shine on your outside. Ugh, now I just have to rock this interview. You remember your tools. Anytime you have a single doubt, you remember what you're capable of. Yeah? Yeah. And you will rock this interview. I know it because you've put in the work. Uh, we've put in the work. You're doing great. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. <laughs> but remember, I'm your friend. You can call me anytime. Thank you so much. Now go out there and shine. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> and another one complete. Well, not quite. Well, you are gonna need a double shot of espresso when I show you today's schedule. So at noon, we've got that follow-up meeting with that tech whiz kid. You know, the one who needs to seem more approachable, not infinitely smarter than everybody else? Yes. Oh, then tomorrow you've got your first of hopefully many segments at Wake Up World. You're gonna be great. Well, I don't know, I haven't been on TV in forever. Gosh, to get a regular segment on Wake Up, that would just skyrocket our business to the next level. I gotta crush this. No, and you, consider it crushed. <laughs> now let's get you that coffee. Let's. Okay. Yeah, thank you. That was Wake Up World. Your prep meeting today got canceled. Apparently, Clive Baxter, the sexy soccer player turned TV host, likes to just leave it all out in the field. Well, I guess when you're an international sports star, you can afford to ruffle a few feathers. Not to mention his excessive use of sports analogies. I don't know. I kind of like this whole feisty thing that he's got going on. No, I think it is a much needed new flair for Wake Up. From what I've heard, he's not exactly a home run. <laughs> yeah, wrong sport, but I see you. <laughs> Hang on. So maybe once you are staring into these baby blues, you will change your tune. Oh, pump the brakes. <laughs> oh. Hey, Allie, how are you? No way, congratulations. <gasps> she got the job. Yes, we will celebrate. We'll set it up. Okay. Bye. Wow. Well, hey, another job complete. Nice. <laughs> oh, I was hoping these moving boxes were a decoy and that you changed your mind. I know. I can't believe I'm moving out of here before you are. Hey, hon, help me with this. Oh, huh? Look at you two, huh? Hey, you want to meet up for dinner after we drop these at the new place? Oh, no. I think I've been your permanent third wheel for far too long. No, don't be silly. Felix was going to ask Todd from the office to come, too. Oh, is that how it works now, huh? You two are teaming up now to set me up? No, just trying to uh, return the favor of you and YVB helping me become a guy with this kind of gal on his arm. Oh. oh, no, it's okay. Actually, I've got early dinner plans with my mom. Apparently, she's got a new pitch to discuss. Well, let's hope it goes better than the last. Well, I do appreciate that you got all of the important stuff out of the way, but obviously, it's killing you inside, I can tell. So, what's your new pitch? 
Hey, I can be patient and I can read people too. I am your daughter. You don't need to read me. My office identified your company as a top target. I didn't even play up with the mother and daughter dream scenario, so it's all legit based on your success. I I'm really just the messenger here. Mom, we went over this before. The angel investment is an offer that any business in your position would die for. And with you being back on TV, now is the time to strike. I'm not back on TV, Mom. I'm doing a single segment. And as I clearly stated before, and I will say it again, I need to do this on my own. Yes, we take majority ownership, but you still call the shots. How is that majority? Aren't you bratty Becky from Little Sister? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> actually, I started off as Brave Becky, and then during season four, we had these new producers come in, and then they completely flipped the storyline. That's when I became, uh, uh anyway, never mind. Yes, yes, I, I am, I'm bratty Becky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, what did Brave Becky used to say? Do you remember, Mom? Yes. Brave Becky used to say, when things are going down, be brave and, and turn them around. <laughs> you were so amazing. <laughs> Can I grab a pick? Yeah, of course. Sure. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Cheese. Cheese. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. As I was about to say, our first plan of attack would be to focus on your celebrity past. Child sitcom star to successful entrepreneur. Mom, I am trying to focus on bringing what I have to the table as Rebecca, not as bratty Becky. But look at you, it's so cute, positive, uplifting. It's not the approach that I don't like. It's the lines between mom and manager were blurred. And I just don't want to go back there again. But this is different. How? Mom. I appreciate that you're trying to help me. But this is really important for me to do this on my own. I need that. Please. So you're really not seeing anyone? I mean, there must be someone. Mom. Excuse me, Mr. Baxter, I hate to bother you. You must not hate it that much. I'm kidding. Kind of, what's up? Uh, my son is a huge fan, and it's his birthday Saturday. I was hoping maybe you could sign his jersey. Oh, I would love to, uh, but it's not up to me. Yeah, my manager handles all my memorabilia requests, so. Oh, uh, he's just for a seven-year-old kid. Sorry, pal. How much wood could a woodchuck uh, chuck if a woodchuck could excuse chuck? Excuse me. A E I O U. Unique uh, New York. Me. New York is unique. You know, excuse unique, me. unique New York. Unique Hi. New York. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Hi, uh, Clive. Huh? Clive Baxter. Yeah? Hi. Hi. I hear that uh, preparation is not really your thing, but uh, I think preparation is the key to success. I don't. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you want to uh, go over anything with our segment, I'm here to flesh out any questions. I'm here to help. Yeah. We're just going to let it fly when the cameras are on. Just like boom, boom, boom. You know? That's how I roll. All right? I can't believe it's really you, though. Braddy Becky, all grown up. Yep. I ditched the braces and got rid of my pigtails. Yeah. So I'm Rebecca now. Rebecca. Rebecca Cole. Mm-hmm. Is it OK if I call you Becky? Uh, no. <laughs> it's not 1999 anymore. So let's just go with Rebecca. I'll see you out there, Becky. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, just, well, one more thing, Slick. That was a really classy move that you made there with the uh, kid's jersey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of adorable, actually. You really think that jersey was forced kid? No, no, that guy was going to go sell the jersey on the internet for a quick 500 bucks. It's the oldest trick in the book. Is it not tiring to go through life making assumptions about people in the worst way? It's called assumptions based on previous circumstances and facts. I'm so sorry that this is the story you've created for yourself. See, I choose to see the best in others. Which I think will get you absolutely nowhere. You spent far too much time in the TV world, not enough time in the real world, sweetie. 
Well, maybe you have just been kicked in the head too many times. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what? What? Forget Bratty Becky. I'm gonna go with Rude Rebecca. I'm sorry. I'll see you on set. Like I suggested in the first place. Later. We are very excited today because we have popular image consultant and all-around talented gal, Rebecca Cole. <laughs> Hi. 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 How are you? Good. A few weeks ago, we gave her a guest from our audience to work her magic on. Now, he is back with us today. Roy, you look like a new man. I feel like a brand new version of myself, <laughs> or the very best version of myself. <laughs> Roy wanted to go from being the nice guy to being the guy that his female friends would be more interested in. <laughs> Buddy, I could have told you how to do that in a couple minutes. Well, we wouldn't want to put him through that now, would we? <laughs> Roy's <clears throat> primary attainable goal was to set his sights on a particular female, and by integrating his newly discovered self with his best version, he wanted to ask her out. So, Roy, who is she? A crush? A co-worker? <laughs> Kinda. <clears throat> Rebecca, through this process, I've become someone I never thought possible. Would you go on a date with me? Uh, uh, what about Julie from the gym? I'm just being true to myself. Uh, I, I'm sure that uh, anyone from the audience would want to go on a date with you. But do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, I don't. I think that the best version of myself currently is to remain single. I'm so sorry, Roy. You spend weeks building this poor guy up only to chop him down in one fell swoop? I mean, come on. Well, Roy's clarity, albeit surprising, is actually something we can build on. <laughs> Roy, there must be someone else. Uh, I think he's being pretty clear. I think you should ask her one more time. Uh, I think it's pretty clear that you assume things and think you know everything. All uh, right. Well, you know, I would rather go after what I want than to be a chump. <laughs> Looks like our audience disagrees. <laughs> My charming but also oh opinionated co-host. Okay, you know what? You gotta practice what you preach, isn't that right? That's what this is all about, so... You all have a great morning. I'm gonna go for a jog. <laughs> Looks like we'll be right back. <laughs> Clive. I was the only one to take a chance on you after your solar sports fiasco. We promised you your own show because I knew you would have a way with viewers, but you're losing them. Just calm down. Okay, look, we've discussed this before. Wake Up is my grooming ground. When All Clive Live is a massive hit, we'll never remember today's little malfunction. That's what I'm telling you. There is no All Clive Live if this continues. There's no Clive. You said you would tone it down after last month's warning. But have you checked your phone? because my grand exit has gone massively viral, so you're welcome. Unfortunately, we don't make money on likes and views. We make money on ads. I begged the network to let me talk to you and get you help. Oh, you mean like a shrink? Thank you. No, I will walk. No, we need to repair the damage. Change your image. I want you to work with Rebecca. <laughs> yeah. Becky. Yeah. Yeah, because she's a real hot hire after today's outing. The audience loved her, so did the network, and I lied. They actually think I'm firing you right now. So if you agree to this, I can spin it into a short suspension and buy us some time. She's just so fluffy and seemingly ineffective. We all have our off days. Look, I know how hard you've worked to succeed in this field. You're right. I do think your show will be a massive hit. We just need to tweak you a bit to fit into what we need from you. Can you do that? If not, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to end it all now. No, 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 no. Clive Baxter does not get fired, okay? Clive Baxter walks on his own accord, which he's not gonna do today. Just to be clear, he's not. Clive Baxter will see the guru. I will see the guru. Yeah, I think you should do that. 
And I would start with an apology when you do. I heard her say she's headed to the coffee shop on the corner. Now, I need to figure out how to sell your journey of being better to the network. Good luck. OK. We got this. It's going to be fine. I'll smooth it over. They are never going to have me on again. I can't believe I miss Red Roy so badly. Listen, I have to get going, but I will follow up with Margaret, and I'll feel her out. Don't even bother. This is a definite we'll call you, do not call us situation. Listen, everything will be fine. Trust me. I will see you in a few. I'll be here, licking my wounds. We'll chat soon. Nope, not doing it. Not today, Mom. What? What are you doing okay, here? Let's just get this over with. I need you to help me. Oh, no hello, or better yet, no, I'm so sorry. We don't have time for any of that, all right? I did my research, and I learned that you're usually pretty good. Hmm. Huh. Well, I usually don't work with grumpy hosts that make things worse. I need you to do your thing with me, whatever it is that you typically do. Well, since you asked me so nicely. Can you just agree? And that way I can call Margaret and they can all relax over there? Wait, Margaret? Margaret put you up to this? You mean she doesn't think I'm a total failure? No, it was her idea. Lucky for you, I chose the right day to see your total failure and raise you a career suicide. Well, then. Do you even want to work with me? Or better yet, I should ask you, do you even want to work on yourself? If it means I get to keep my job, then yeah, sure. Typical. What? Enjoy the cheesecake. Oh, 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 come on, what did I say? What? I, I, I do, I do, I do, seriously. No, you don't. Rebecca, Rebecca, yes, I, I do, I do. Oh, really? Why? Because this show is the first time I felt like I belonged to something since being on a team. It's not easy retiring from something you've done since you were four years old. Hey, what made you successful in that arena it doesn't always translate to post-pro life. I get that. I've been promised my own show this summer. I can't lose that because one thing that never changes for me is the refusal to lose. Now that, that's the first step. It's figuring out the why. I'm already pretty good at this. But I'm gonna have to ask something of you that I feel like might be a massive feat. Come on, I've already given you a lot today. I need an apology. And I'm not talking something followed by an and or an if or a but or a because. I need an unconditional apology. Go ahead. I am mm -hmm. sorry. I'm sorry. Perfect. Happy? Yeah. Apology accepted. Okay. I'll be in touch. This will be fun. Yes, Margaret, thank you so much for the second chance. Yes, I will keep you updated. Thanks. Well, it's official. What does that mean? I've got to get Clive back on the air, and I've got to repair his tarnished image. My goodness, she wants me to make him a priority. Is the network paying us like we're their only priority? Yep. So you're going to have to take care of the rest of the clients, OK? Meanwhile, I need a crash course on Mr. Clive Baxter. Oh, oh I got you. <laughs> OK, he is a Baxter banger. It's what they call Clive super fans. What? They have a name for them? Whoa, <laughs> whoa, you don't understand what he's accomplished. OK, as an American, he transformed the Premiership League. He uh, is a global star. Just not what? so much here, unless you are a soccer fan. <laughs> well, I mean, I knew that he was a former pro. And he's huge. He can't walk outside overseas which is why he came back to the States to start his TV career. But Elise isn't too happy about it. Who's Elise? Elise. Elise Hendricks? His longtime on-again and off-again relationship? The, his career was never the same after her, but now they're engaged. She's gorgeous. And quite a handful, I hear. Well, you know what? They're great for each other. I don't know anyone who could stand this guy long enough to fall in love with him, <laughs> let alone be married to him. He's pretty private about their relationship. I guess uh, she refuses to live in the States. Interesting. And I think it's not come across as an engaged type. Mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> well, I got to get to work. I've got a feeling this uh, global star is going to be quite the challenge.
I hope you came hungry. Yeah. Come in, come in. I've got the last the sauce simmering. Got a bird crisping. Got a flourless chocolate cake doing whatever flourless chocolate cakes do. It looks really good. You cook? Well, that just nixed my primary stereotype about you. Yeah, well, I've never been able just to cruise down the corner cafe, so I became a culinary savant. Plus, it wouldn't look great if my fiance woke up to pictures of me and my image consultant in the tabloids. Oh, you mean that me being here right now in your secluded, incredibly gorgeous house is better? Huh. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe we would uh, get straight to work. Yeah, yeah, we will. We just got to fuel up first. Do you want to hop on salad duty? Salads are my specialty. Yeah, I've got salt and pepper for you. OK, what do we got here? That was a great lunch. Thank you. You're welcome. It's nice to see you on your own battleground, albeit a little removed from civilization. Yeah, well, you got to watch out for any bogeys flying overhead or any unexpected booby traps. You do realize that that's not the right way to walk through life, right? It's exhausting. My first assessment of you. You have fallen victim to your own persona. You feel the need to, to be what everybody perceives you to be. Or that's just my personality. Mm, no, I don't think so. Trust me, and this took years for me to figure out. But it's so much easier to get through life when you have a sense of humor and you can laugh at yourself, or you can laugh at your persona in this case. OK, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not really a big joke around kind of guy. Well, it's not like you need a 30-minute set or anything. You just have to be the kind of guy that can laugh at the fact that he can't set his own dinner table. What? No offense. Or you can show the audience the real you, the one that just revels in the intricate details of his apricot sage sauce, which was dynamite, by the way. Thank you. Well, you know, it was the uh, pinch of mustard seed that makes it pop. See? That was real. Come on, stand up. What, what, what are we doing? <laughs> this is going to be our first exercise. Oh okay? Right. We're gonna learn to let things go. Start to shake. Shake. Do that. Shake. Shake. Oh. Shake. 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 Woo! Are you okay? You all right? <laughs> I'm fine. You're I'm not gonna know. No. Oh. No. Nope. Really? Not doing that. Okay. Maybe it's too advanced. I'm too advanced. We'll sure. start with something more traditional. That sounds good. Um. Great. I can't wait for this. Ha uh -huh. Oh. This is going to be your journal. Journal entries are vital to us, being able to accomplish our goals in life. OK, so you just want me to, to write about my day. I can do that. No, 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 no. I have an assignment for you. Your first assignment is to write three things that shaped you as a man and how you might change them. No, I don't do this mushy stuff, OK? I'm, I'm very happy with who I am. I, I don't need a full transformation. I just need you to help me get better at my job. I can't help someone who thinks they're perfect. Mm -hmm. Look, you let me know when you're ready. And you call me then. If you still have a job to save. Come on, Rebecca, seriously? Oh, and my second assessment of you, by the way, you're not perfect. Um. Please try again. If you can reach him, he's a ratings gold mine. Well, I, I can't help someone who doesn't want to embrace the work. As big of an opportunity as this may seem, I just, I wish I could overlook it. What if I gave you a regular segment on Wake Up? That would be amazing. If you get Clive to write the ship, I'll make that happen. Oh, I'd be lying if I didn't say that the uh, challenge of working with Clive would be intriguing. Yeah, I, I do see potential. I do too, for both of you. I might have to take his ego down a few notches to make it work. Do what you have to do. You got this. Good news. Rebecca's agreed to give you another shot. Is this where I humbly swallow my pride and express my gratitude? Yes, that would be what's best. How'd you even get her to come on board? In exchange for a regular segment. Wait, what? Network loved her and how she navigated the turbulence of her first appearance. By crash landing? It was a disaster. Margaret, this doesn't make sense. I get all the blame and she gets her own segment? Just agree and we can leave this all behind us. Do I have a choice? No, not unless you want your mini vacay to become permanent. Fine. OK, 
Okay, so now that we both know that I'm your meal ticket to bigger and better things, what do we need to do to give them what they want so we can both just get what we need? Oh, no, if you think I'm just going to mail this in, you obviously don't know me very well. Okay, we'll put on a good show, but come on, this is... You are my utmost priority. You better be prepared to work hard. You're welcome, by the way, for your career advancement. <laughs> I believe that good things come to people who work tirelessly on a goal. Sure, well, I'll just be sitting here whenever you want to say thank you. I'm glad you brought this, by the way. I mean, my head is always much clearer whenever my feet are on the ball. Oh, well, you're welcome. I believe it was you who said that you can't become a professional athlete without having a burning desire to succeed, right? That was you, wasn't it? Let's use that. I also think that as a professional, you should learn to give back. See that kid over there? His name is Quinn. He lives in the neighborhood. And his dad wants him to be good enough to play with the rest of the kids. Look at him. I said, you know what? I've got just the coach for you to put him back on track. Rebecca, I am a professional athlete. I'm not going to go coach a bunch of kids. I mean, I hold two single season records in the Euro League. Sounds like you're qualified to me. <sighs> go on. Can I at least coach the less horrible ones? No. No. In fact, I do believe that failure is a key ingredient to growth. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. The kids. I got this. I got this. I'm great with kids. I love kids. Hey, you're doing it all wrong. Come on. Okay. Let's start by dribbling. How? How? You just you just move the ball between your feet, bud. I don't get it. You just do it. It's not that hard. Well, I think it's hard. <sighs> it's because you're not very good or athletic. Okay. All right, look, come here. Come here, kid. I wasn't very good when I was your age either, but I practiced nonstop, and it all became second nature. My dad says you're famous? <laughs> he must not watch a lot of soccer. He just said Rebecca's friend was pretty good. Wait, he said pretty good? I don't watch much soccer. I just play it because I think it's really fun. Yeah, it is fun, isn't it? Yeah. All right, look. Let's do it one more time. I want you to hit the ball with the inside of your foot. And before you strike it, envision the ball going where you want it to go. OK? OK. <laughs> yes! Woo! That's it! That's the one to end on. Good job. Nice. <laughs> Can you come play with the group? They play on Thursdays. Maybe if you come to let me play. Oh. I think that's a great idea. I'll practice really hard. Yeah, OK. That's, that sounds good. Wow. It's really great to see him smiling again. <laughs> Can I buy you a drink to say thanks? Um, yeah, you know, it's a really busy week at work, but um, maybe another time. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, well thank you. Totally. And thank you. Of course. Yeah? I did good. That's giving back. That kid was pumped up. I know, but you really should have let him say thanks to you. They don't really do new friends, Rebecca. Just, mm. Duncan is a great guy. It would be good for you. All that guy wants to do is brag to his buddies that he bought Clyde Baxter a beer. That's how that goes down. Duncan is a single father. His wife passed away last year. <sighs> You know what I really loved about playing soccer? I got to affect people with what I did on the pitch, not who I am as a person. I've been a soccer player my whole life, and now all of a sudden, you know, I, I have to be a, a person, a whole, a whole person. I do what I do so I can affect people's lives positively. I will send you his number, just in case you have a change of heart. And I'll be in touch with the next things that I've got on my list, so I just... I Think about it. I don't doubt that. All right. Good work. Jillian told me you left the office because you needed to think. Nice to see you still come here. Hey, Mom. Charlie gave me the code to come in. 
I think he was sick of me constantly asking. Well, benefits of being the pride and joy of the theater, I guess. You know, the sound stages and the studios, they never gave me the same feeling. This, this is where I was happiest. Here I was a kid. I had fun, Mom. Have you been ignoring my calls? No. No, I'm, I'm occupied with my new client, Mom. I know. I would have loved to have heard it from you. Jillian told me. Oh, so that's, that's why you're here, huh? I mean, this is huge. A regular segment? It sounds like this football star is exactly what you needed. He's a soccer star, Mom. Football is an international sport. That's what they call it globally. And that's how you need to start thinking. I mean, he could literally take YVB Global. You know what? I'm gonna put you in touch with my London office right away. Oh, Mom, the Audrey train is just chugging along at full speed ahead. You need to recognize opportunity and strike. I'm not gonna use my clients like that, Mom. Especially Clive. He's sensitive, to say the least, to trusting others. It's only business. This is how the world works. Yes, exactly. And I ask, again, for you to please trust me to run my own business. Okay. You know, I caught his show. He does have a sparkle. Well, you know, his ego kind of ruins that sparkle. Oh. He's engaged, too. I think he takes his life way too seriously. That's it! Oh. He needs to have fun! He needs to act like a kid again! Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Okay, it's to meet hey. you at the park. Now what? At least there aren't any kids here this time. I don't know if you were trying to torture me or help me earlier. Hey, kids are valuable learning tools. Yeah, and annoying. <laughs> hey, we were all kids once, and I bet you that little Clive was carefree and open to anything. No, oh, little Clive was practicing his ball handling skills six hours a day. Well, more the reason for big Clive to let loose and have some good old-fashioned fun. Okay, 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 I don't know if you yes. heard, but fun is not really my speed. It's not really an emotion that I need to feel. I don't believe you. First one around the jungle gym, and down the slide, wins. You've got a massive head start. <laughs> I don't know. I think that was too close to call. This is a clear loser. Just used to winning. I don't know what to say. Well, maybe you just met your match. Ah, uh, maybe so. <laughs> what? That. You should do that more often. I do this plenty. Oh, well, you remember that feeling, OK? <laughs> Got it. OK, this next assignment might not be as fun, but just like when we were kids, we all have homework. Do you ever just relax? Mm, no. Okay. The network is paying me a pretty penny to annoy you. Uh, is it working yet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check your phone. Take a look. Do you find yourself repeating patterns of behavior? Yes. Are you a repeat offender? Yes. Really? Journal entry. This is going to be good for you. I think you'll like Journal it. entry. Yes. Okay, all right. Like writing? Yes. I, I got to write this. Yes, yes. Honey, I know you wanted to give the whole TV thing a go, but maybe this is just a sign. Well, we'll see if any of this is working once I get in front of a live audience again. You're a footballer. Please, I, I was a footballer. I'm not anymore. You can still play. We've got that new league they're starting up. I mean, it's not the premiership, but it sounds solid. Ronnie and the team have already gauged the interest. You'd be perfect. <sighs> Thanks. It's built on a bunch of wash-up players who can't hang it up yet. That's not what I meant. I just want to see you happy. Come home. Our life is here. Your life is there. The one that you refuse to leave. Because I'm waiting for this fleeting interest of yours to pass. I don't know. I think I can be really good at this if I commit. When can you at least visit? 
I am on shaky ground. Why don't you come here? You know I can't fly that long. Well, then, sounds to me like it's on you to understand. I just miss you. Clive, I said I miss you. I do too. Have fun tonight, okay? See ya. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. One second. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, uh, Clive. Hey, you busy? Uh, uh, kind of. Okay, look, I'm working on my next assignment right now on a run, and I'm just getting more frustrated and winded. Can you come over? Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, uh, sure. Okay, perfect. Uh, just come in because this next interval might take me out. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. I will come straight back here, right up. Uh, no offense, but I think we can do it without your muscle. Oh, God, I can't go looking like this. Why not? He's just a client, right? Oh, that face does not say he is just a client. He is just a client. <laughs> He's not just a client. She's smitten. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh, here we go. Hey. Hey. This is a cute look. Well, you saved me from moving duties. I owe ya. Okay, look, this next assignment is really starting oh, to trip wow. me up. Oh, wow. Are you trying to open up a shoe store? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> ridiculous. My sponsor sends me all these, and it's like, how many pairs of shoes can a guy wear? I would give them to charity, but I don't really know if they're gonna go to the right place, so. You know what? Let's scratch the first exercise. Let's use this as an opportunity to build your trust, hmm? Each box represents something from your past that has led you to expect the worst in people. Building a wall. Let's start with this one. Uh, well, uh, you know, my dad wasn't exactly father of the year. He gave me the gift of soccer, but he definitely expected his due in return once the contracts came in. Was good. Let's try this one. After winning the Euros, the team that drafted me let me go. No loyalty, just hell with the old. Try this. Uh, Rebecca, I think that that's good for now. Okay. Yeah. No. Um. You just take a pause. I always loved acting until I realized that people wanted me to be who I was on TV, and I had no control over that. Mm. Once the playing days ended and the fame dwindled, I was just left to go at it alone. <sighs> my best friend growing up was my tutor. She was 32. My best friend over there, Derek, distanced himself once my career took off. He's the closest thing I had to a brother. My relationship with my mom, that's a tough one. I hope we can work things out. woman that I've committed to, I don't know if she loves me or she just loves the life that I gave her. You should probably know that. I don't know if it's because something has changed between us or we're just different people now, but I really know and I don't. Do you think that this offered any clarity? I think I feel something. I don't know. What? I mean, maybe... maybe. Maybe it's not all that big of a mystery. Was your tutor really your best friend when you were a kid? <laughs> Ouch. I know. 
My childhood was interesting. It's all good. You should be careful. That optimistic veneer is starting to crack a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for that. I mean it. What are you doing for the rest of the day? I'm trying to get out of moving duties. Hey, got an idea. Are you open to it? Definitely. You're up first. Do you always keep a bag of clubs in the back of your car? Ah, well, golfing is addicting. You'll see. You've got to figure it out. <laughs> Take a fun activity you call it work. I like that. Well, my trick is to sneak in the lesson when you're not looking. OK, here we go. Ah, uh, what does that represent? A bad golfer. Mm-hmm. Been 12 years. Since you looked <laughs> at a golf ball? Because you certainly have never touched one. It's uh, much easier to look than hit. OK, here we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, OK. Ooh. Yep, pretty bad. Considering you're a professional athlete, I mean, that is next level bad. Professional soccer player. I use my feet. Check this out. At least 150 oh, no. yards. You don't, no, no, you don't want to use your feet with this. <laughs> The secret is to take your weaknesses and focus on your strengths. Try not to avoid things that you find to be difficult. Go for it. Focus. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> Beautiful. Because you were open. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> you just weaved in a little lesson. That's what I do. <laughs> OK, for the next one, you want to keep your head down for the follow through. All right. <laughs> All right, come here, big boy. <laughs> uh, you do know they have park services for that, right? <laughs> well, we are literally turning over a new leaf today. Oh. You see these leaves? Mm -hmm. Each one represents something that you need to change. Oh. First, you're going to identify what you need to change. Then you're going to identify how to change it. And then you're going to flip it over like that. Then you're going to leave the leaves behind for good. Go ahead. It's quite a few leaves. Hey, I'm just operating on the supplied data. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll start with this one. And just really think about it. How about a pick, Claude? Uh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure, we can do that. Hey, listen. This is a perfect opportunity for you not to run, so embrace it, OK? Put the good behavior into motion, not just words. I'll be right here. OK. Want a group pick? Yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. Aww. Bet you wish you had that kick from the 16 euros back, huh? I do. I do. You cost us, man. You robbed us of history. Have you ever kicked a ball with millions of people pinning their hopes and dreams on you? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. But I was never paid millions of dollars to do it either. OK, yeah. OK. Thank you all. Hey, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, aren't you Braddy Becky? We saw you on his show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Couple of has-beens together. All right, you know what, man? That's oh, no, 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 stop. I'm so sorry. Have a great day. Come on. Oh, you know what? How's this for escape plan? Let's just get out of oh, here. Oh, wow, yeah, this is great. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I love this. Oh, yes. Oh. Hey, you good? Oh, this is fabulous. <laughs> oh, I haven't done this in so long. Let's just let that slight outburst slide, hey, shall we? That's much better than it used to be. I mean, back in the day, I would have decked that guy. Wow. I scored 323 career goals, but I missed the most important shot. That's all people choose to remember. I mean, granted, the goalie made an incredible save, but he makes that save one out of 100 times, maybe. And he just happened to make the save that day. And that's the difference between being remembered as a good player and being remembered as a legend. 
So it's the fear that one person will remember that moment and cancel out all of your adoring fans. I guess it's the same for you too, isn't it? I mean, you did something special as a child and somehow that's a bad thing. The public turns on you, so I've decided to turn on them. You know, I've realized that I haven't really let that stuff go. It's affected my relationship with my mom. It's not her fault, and I, I can't blame her for it. I've just avoided it. It's easier just to walk away sometimes. I just want to be Rebecca. The segment that we did, that was my first time on TV in 20 years. And some jerk made it extra hard for you. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry about that. It's, it's OK. You know what? Let's focus on you and getting back your adoring fans. Yeah, well, that's what's tricky. I mean, I just wish people could be more kind. Same. With this leaf, I choose not to let things get to me. You should uh, answer that. Yeah. Yeah. It's Elise. Uh, she's been calling me all day. She wants my opinion on this ridiculously expensive rug. Maybe that's the, the next leaf that you should be turning over. It's just a rug. You know what I mean? I know. Okay, okay, so tell us about dancing in this movie. Well, I had never danced professionally before the movie, but now I feel like I could teach anybody. Oh, wow. hold on, hold on. Anyone? Because I know an ex-pro soccer player with two left feet. I'm up for the challenge. Oh, goodness. No. All right. Oh, my All right. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like, it. Okay. Amazing. Yes, yeah. Yes. Here we go, here we go. Okay, we'll do that. Ooh, is that easy? Chemistry. Who knew he could dance? I meant the two of you. I don't know how you did it. Do you think you could do that again? Like on a daily basis? Bring out this kind of change in people? Uh, sure. <laughs> Great. Good job. <laughs> I mean, working with Rebecca has been, like, really eye-opening. That's good. I streamed your last show. I see you've still got your moves. You look happy. Yeah. Any word from Ronnie about the new leak? Uh, yeah, yeah. We were actually going to get an offer from the London City Squad. <laughs> That's amazing. Why didn't you tell me? Because I'm back on track to get my own show here, and I want to see it through. Is that the only reason? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nice! You know, I'm working on a whole new vibe here, and I want to show you since you've been my interior decorator of sorts. Did Clive Baxter just make a joke? Yes, he did. <laughs> Pretty good one, too. Oh, this looks great. It's so warm and inviting. Thank you. Oh, I like your personal touch. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm still kind of trying to figure out where to put everything. Hey, hmm. what are you doing this afternoon? Do you want to have some lunch? Oh, I can't. I've got plans with my friends Felix and Jillian. OK, uh, rain check. Dinner Friday night. You know what? 
Bring Felix and Jillian. It'll be like a housewarming. Uh, you don't even know them. And they're strangers, so. It's called growth. It's a real thing. It's happening. Feel it? Huh. In college, I was like, who is this girl? She would organize charity drives, the intramurals on the weekend, the best parties, and made killer 3 a.m. nachos. You remember? How could I not remember that? <laughs> you see, I knew then I was not letting this one out of my life. OK, now, now that I'm not so starstruck, uh, I got to tell you. He has been waiting all night for this. It's not often I get to speak with a legend of the game. A legend? legend? Wow. <laughs> yeah. oh. Your game winner in extra time against Man City in 14 was the prettiest goal I've ever seen. Should have done that in 16 euros. Uh, no. No, the goalie made a great save. I mean, he only makes that one out of 100 times. I mean, what are you going to do? He guessed right. Thank you. Felix, that's really kind of you. Hey, honey, we have to have Clive at our engagement party. You have to come with Rebecca. Oh, uh, yes. No, as a friend. To new friends. <laughs> that sounds fun. To new friends. Cheers. 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 That was a really great time. We should all yeah. do that again. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. so much fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, you're Thank you. So I'll uh, see you in the morning. For sure. Good night. The old Rebecca I once knew. I see an older Rebecca. Mm -hmm. In the Rebecca. park. Older in Rebecca. the park. Okay, look at your smile right now. You woman. are glowing. I hope you make it through the commercial break this time, Clive. I'll try not to provoke another meltdown with my opinion. Okay, I, I have learned not to argue with an expert. <laughs> I was wrong. You were right. And I am sorry. Well, as I was telling a client recently, being able to admit mistakes and apologize, it's an important part of growth. You been here before? It's a great spot. Love it. Thank you. Here, here, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put that away. I got you. <laughs> Come on. Thank I wouldn't you. have said it if I didn't mean it. Put it on my tab. Thanks. Hey, thanks for taking the time with Quinn and finally reaching out. Of course. You know, after his mom passed, it took him a while to get excited about anything. When was that? Uh, wow. One year next week. Yeah, he was the only love of my life. I knew the first time I met her. Hey, but hey, I don't have to tell you, you just found that kind of love. <laughs> so when's the wedding? Uh, you know, we're still trying to figure out the logistics. Things have stalled a little bit. Long distance and all, it's not easy. Well, if it's one thing it should be right now, it's easy. <sighs> yeah, I know. Rebecca keeps calling me on that, too, and I know you're both right. She's a wonderful woman, man. She used to check in on Quinn after... Yeah, she would uh, make him lunch and bring me dinner. <laughs> We'd only met a few times in the park before that. <laughs> I mean, I love Elise. I do. I really do. And, and I'm marrying her. I am. And it's going to be great. But, man, I got to tell you, I have laughed more in the last three weeks with Rebecca than I have in the previous three years before that. <laughs> Look, bud, I know you're a man of the world. But where I'm from, friends shoot straight. Let's hear it, please. I've learned to appreciate every day in love. But if it's not the right kind of love, don't waste any more of your time. Make you happy. Do what makes you light up, like soccer does. <laughs> Do you play golf? <laughs> <laughs> you got jokes.
Ratings are climbing, and word is that we're on track to recover our ad partners. That's great. It is. It's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh. As you know, we've promised Clive his own show. Yes, no, that would really complete the work. He's going to be thrilled. Yeah, we have that slot to fill. We just don't want to fill it with Clive. Why not? Because we want to fill it with you instead. Your very best daily hour. After seeing the audience react to you and what you pulled off with Clive, I pitched the idea to the network, and they're on board. My very own show? And Clive? Well, the plan was never to keep him on Wake Up. Then what was the plan? Uh, he'll land on his feet. This just didn't work out. Network wanted to really move more into the self-help realm over another morning show. It just took you for them to see it. Does Clive know this? No. And you can't tell him or anyone. I'm taking a huge risk by telling you. But I just wanted you to know because we are so excited. <laughs> what are you so excited about? Um, <clears throat> her upcoming schedule. Oh, nice. Hey, I'm actually really glad you're here because if you're free later, you should come by the soccer fields. Okay. Put in the work. <laughs> okay, here's, here's the thing. We're gonna go through our drills. We're gonna start with two kicks, then we're gonna do some ball handling, all right? We ready? Here we go. There it is, there it is, there it is. My goal? I sure did. It was amazing. Just like we practice. Like I said, practice pays off. And that's a huge life lesson, too, son. So I'll see you later this week? For sure. Congrats. Thanks. Oh, what? You you didn't hear I have friends now? Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've been putting in the work. I'm impressed. Thank you. I can now see your true talent. Just. Make sure you keep it up when we stop working together, which will be soon. Yeah. You know, I was I was thinking maybe we could keep working together outside of the show. Uh, yeah, I mean, actually. What? Never mind. Can I show you something? Please. <laughs> What are we doing? What is this? I'm gonna show you. Wait, just be careful. Careful? Keep your voice down. Are you sure we're trespassing right Come now? Come this way. Okay. okay. All right. Are you ready? What? What is this? Oh. <laughs> wow. This is really cool. This is where I used to perform. Yeah. Now I just come here to relax and, and reboot. I get that. It's so, so quiet in here. No, I really did love it. I loved it here, not on TV. Me out here, <laughs> they would come and, and watch for one night only and everything lived right here on the stage in this moment. They didn't save it for years. Nervous that maybe my fans would one day turn on me. Our two completely different worlds aren't so different, are they? <laughs> you know, um, team has offered me a spot to return. It's mine if I want it. It's um, in London. Do you want it? No. For the first time in my life, I don't. I mean, are you sure? Maybe you should hear them out. 
surprised to hear you say that. Why? It's just an option. No, I'm clear. This is what I want to do now. I lacked purpose in my life after my football career was over. I was lost for so long. I feel like I finally found that, thanks to you. Me? See you at the engagement party. I'll be there. Look at me. I'm a real social butterfly now. <laughs> see ya. I'll see ya. Yeah. like the star that you are. Well, I am going to my friend's engagement party. Okay. What? Well, didn't you say that he was going to be there? Yes, Mom. He's their friend, too, now. Just be smart. He's my client. Yeah, I get that. All I'm saying is that I want you to be careful. I know you better than anyone else, and if I know what I think I know, I just don't want to see you get hurt. What, by wearing a dress? By mistaking a working connection for something more and falling for a guy who's engaged. There. Did I spell it out enough for I you? I hear you, Mom. Thanks. And I am being smart. Good. I think. Oh, dear. <laughs> Margaret gave me my own show. Oh, that's amazing. It's at the expense of Clive. Okay, well, maybe this is for the best. You know, he can carry on with his fiance and you get what you deserve professionally. See, this is why I'm so scared to tell you things. You get these ideas in your head and you just run with them. I'm your mother, what do you expect? What if I, what if I am conflicted? My feelings. Do you have any advice as my mom? Just focus on yourself. You have worked too hard to let your feelings ruin this, especially for a guy that's in love with someone else. But what if he's not? Honey, please don't make the same mistake I did. We're late. Come on. None of this would be happening if I hadn't made the second best decision of my life and hired Rebecca. She gave me the confidence to make the very best decision of my life, which is to marry Jillian. My best friend. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough mushy stuff. Some people save all the dancing for the wedding. But as you know, Jillian and I are not those kinds of people. <laughs> Hit it! Clive, 
I just wanted to thank you for bringing some life back to my daughter. Well, the rejuvenation's been mutual. Look, I can see how this whole thing you have going on can be very enticing. But as a businesswoman, I've never been afraid to let my voice or opinion be heard. Please don't mess with her head. With this new opportunity, the finish line is in her sights. And she really doesn't need any distractions. Clive, come here. I need you to help us settle something. <laughs> okay, should a man be involved in picking out an engagement ring, oh. or do you think that it would take away from the romance? No, I said, what do you want? Yeah, I don't want to get this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> be honest. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I feel like he should know what you want. But if he doesn't, I bet you'll love it anyways, because it came from his heart. I mean, there must have been some reason that he picked it out, right? Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna steal her for one minute. She'll be right back. Come here, Grisby. We're gonna rent a big cabin out of town for my bachelor party in a couple weeks. We'd love for you to join. You know, let me give it a think. I might be heading overseas to take care of something I should have done a long time ago. And it needs to be done in person, so. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Well, Rebecca knows we want to move forward with YVB Daily. No, I haven't broken the news to Clive yet. Mm-hmm. Well, when he finds out we're canning his show for hers, I don't expect him to go calmly. Yeah, I'll let him know about the other decision in a few days. I've got to tell you guys something, but you can't say a word. Wait, that's first. There is uh, something. We want to talk to you about. Okay. <laughs> well, after planning the engagement party and seeing how much fun everyone was having, I think I have found my colleague. Mm, dance competition? <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> no party planning. I've been thinking about what my own best version is. And although I've loved helping you get YVB to where it is, I really want to give this a go. For me. Well, and us. Your party was amazing. Had I known you were gonna abandon me, I would have played down my excitement. <laughs> You're not mad. No, no, of course not. Hey, I'm proud of you. Oh, man. Thank you. I just want you to be happy. Mm. <laughs> and I'm just saying, I have not seen you glow like you did yesterday since, well, ever. Oh, well, even if that is true. There is one big problem. Okay, time for my news. Now, I'm breaking the guy code here, but I'm doing it in the name of love. He's breaking <laughs> up with her. Wait, it was my news. Wait, wait, what? how do you know this? Oh, he told me. Well, not exactly, but I read between the lines, and I'm pretty sure it's going down. Uh, pretty sure? Mm -hmm. Well, don't give him any reason to doubt it. Tell him how you feel. Based on hearsay? No, based on what you feel. Yeah, and what he obviously feels. If you're gonna do it, can you hurry up? I would like to find you wedding clients <laughs> ASAP. See, this is what it's all about. <laughs> yeah, we want you to find what you gave us. Oh. <laughs> hey, what were you gonna tell us? Yeah. I, I wanted your opinion on something, okay. but I, I figured it out. Yeah, you guys go ahead and I will, uh, I'll catch up. Okay. okay, we'll talk soon. Bye. 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 Hi, um, Margaret, it's Rebecca. I can't take the offer. I appreciate everything that you've done. I just, I can't do that to Clive. So uh, feel free to give me a call back and we can discuss the next steps. Thank you, and I, I'm sorry.
Hey, did we have something scheduled? Oh, uh, no, I was in the neighborhood. <laughs> no, I saw this plant and it made me think of you. It's a good graduation gift, don't you think? Oh, uh, yeah, th thank you. Yeah. Um, did you want to go for a walk or get a coffee? I wanted to talk. Um, hi. Okay, this, this is uh, Elise. Uh, nice to finally meet you in person. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. Rebecca, was it? Yeah, Rebecca. Um, I'll be just a second. I am so sorry. I did not mean to she interrupt anything. Me. We've been up talking all night. And? And, and she reminded me of who I really am. She and I have years of history, not weeks. But that's the old you. Is it? Yeah. Do people really change for good, or am I just selling my soul to be something that they want me to be, that you want me to be? No, no, I, I want you to be the best. But the best version of me, I know, I know you keep saying that. What you feel is best, which also happens to be good for you. How convenient. And you? I think that she has a valid point. No, not she, you. How do you feel? I don't even think she knows you that well. Ugh. I am so sorry. I'm... I'm not trying to get involved. Then don't. We're moving back to London. I'm a footballer, okay? I don't fit in with your type. I was just playing a part. I disagree. I think you're so much better than that. You're relentless. Television people. You don't know what's real and what's fake. Thanks for everything. Yeah, hey, Ronnie, um, just letting you know that I'll take the offer. I'm coming home. Great. Let's spend the day together, OK? We can go to the city, have a walk, make a plan like we used to. I have some fantastic news. I secured extra funding for your morning TV show. So that's all you really need to focus on right now. It's over, Mom. I already told Margaret, it's not happening. What? Well, not unless you make it happen. No, sometimes things are not in your control. And after having been pushed to do things my whole life, I want to trust myself now. Pushed? You know, you have selective memory. As a child, you begged me to be an actress. That was your dream. So yeah, I wanted you to dream big. What is wrong with that? I wanted to stop acting, Mom. Don't you remember? No, because you didn't listen to me. Just like you're not listening to me now. I don't want to mix business and family. Do you hear that? I will always fight for what I think is best for you. Sometimes you need to get out of your own way. Mom! Mom! Well, I hope you're following your heart, because you have nothing left to prove in the game. Quinn, is your dad always this emotional? <laughs> Pretty much. Now look, man, it's, it's complicated, but thank you. I've appreciated this, seriously. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, great work with you, bud. Yeah, really thank good you. work. Good luck. Thanks. You guys come to London for a game? Absolutely. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Hey, found you. Why did you think I was gonna let you leave without giving you one last big pitch? Hey, I know. I know that Margaret is replacing my show with you. Why do you think I quit? Oh, right, because Clive Baxter leaves on his own terms, right? He doesn't get fired. So you did know I was getting the ax. That's perfect. No, I was hoping that things would work out. They did work out. For you? Yeah, I was just your stepping stone. No, that was never the plan. That's just what ended up happening. You, Rebecca, out of everyone. 
brought out that fear in me that I can't trust people. And after we worked so hard to bury that exact fear. I turned the show down. Did Margaret tell you that part? I did it for you because I care about you. That's, that's really nice, but you didn't need to do that. Well, this way you can go back and talk to them and work things out. I don't have to be a part of it. I just, I want you to be happy. I think I figured out what's gonna make me happy. Like avoiding that big question in your life? That's your relationship advice? From the person who's convinced herself that being single is her best version. I mean, I'm not a doctor or an image consultant, but that one doesn't seem that hard to figure out. I'm working on that. And I thought maybe... Never mind. I've realized that sometimes we just have to accept who we are. And that's okay. Please, if you could just give Clive his show back. He quit. He quit Wake Up. And since I'm out, just pretend I was never an option and give him his own show in my spot. He'll stay for that. Otherwise, all of this is for nothing if he just quits. Not if you just accept the show. Think about it. Would he do the same for you? I think he would. Well, I guess we'll never know. We're pre-taping his last few episodes and then he's back to London. No, I am going back to focusing on myself and work. Or maybe this is the time to let other people be there for you. Mm -hmm. I got myself into this. I can get myself out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's my mom. We had a huge blowout. Repeat offender. You gotta break the cycle. Yeah. Listen, it took me hitting my low point before I changed any of my behaviors. And if I hadn't, I would have pushed Felix away before I ever could have fallen in love with him. Well, I'm pretty sure I've destroyed any chance of having something like that with Clive. I am not talking about Clive. Your mom's heart is in the right place. Like you told me, you have to let go of your past to move forward. Come on. <laughs> Hey, Mom. Hi. Okay, what is your new pitch? Look at this. You can have your own show. We don't need Wake Up World. You know, I believe you have this gift. And I think you should share it with as many people as possible. Okay, but I have one condition. That you'll do this with me. Nice doing business with you, Mom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. You know, I've realized that it's true. Everything you've done for me was in my best interest. Sorry. I'm still your mom, and I love you so much. And I feel when you're hurting, what's going on? He got the card. And I haven't heard anything. No. It's done. What card? Maybe she's right. This is your best version. And if I'm honest with myself, our best version was long ago. Guess we've grown apart. Or we've just grown. And that's okay.
As we finish this journey, I want you to know that I've never been more proud of someone. You've shown me that the people in our lives makes us our best version. I very much want you in my life. And like this plant, <laughs> hopefully we can both continue to grow together. I hope we don't put you on the spot too much, but can I say it has been an absolute pleasure watching you grow in this profession, and it would be a shame to stop now. How would you like to see more of this emotional chap bear it all five days a week on his own show? What do you say? All five live? I think it's time for me to lay it all bare. My engagement's been called off. Or should I say, mutually agreed upon by two mature adults. times and that's their purpose some are more important than others but everyone leaves their mark on who you are a very special person taught me this that's exactly what I said and I remembered it because I actually practiced it a lot <laughs> I turned it all down the football and Margaret's offer you mean, you're staying? Your mom called me. She told me about your plan. Congratulations. You're gonna make a great team. I, I, I've been thinking a lot about your mantra. What is the best version of you? And I think that you nailed it. It's being with someone who brings out the best in you. Even if you didn't see that person coming. Yeah. Yeah. You helped me realize that we are not the same version that we were last year. Or even last month. Or even yesterday. I am ready to be my best version. A version that includes forgiveness, and trust. And I saw that that is with you. What do you think? I think we can use a co-host. <laughs> Good, because I'm actually out of a job. 
What? <laughs> Where did all this funniness come from? I was always funny. You just brought it out in me. <laughs> <laughs>